the question is for x minus y is equal to 8 which of the following must be true for the values of x and y so we have three statements as per statement 1 both x and y must be positive the another statement says x must be positive and y must be negative and third statement is reverse that is x is negative and y must be positive for any values of x and y so we have to pick up the correct option and option d is the answer that means none of the above statement is correct so we will see the solution we will examine statement 1 first so x minus y is equal to 8 now as per this uh, statement both x and y must be positive to get these results so obviously it is possible with other values also like for example we keep x is equal to 4 and instead of taking a positive value of y we adopt a negative value so what is the result that is 4 that is value of x minus 4 this is value of y we are still getting 8 so since we are satisfying the equation that means this statement is incorrect so i'll just give you one another example both value of x and y must be positive so suppose that uh, if value of x is 12 and value of y is 4 so what you are getting 12 minus 4 is equal to 8 so in this condition this statement is correct but the condition which i have told you that we are taking one value as positive and other value as negative but we are still getting result as 8 so that means this statement is not 100 percent correct so this is not the answer now we'll see second statement the second statement says if x is positive then y must be negative for all values of x and y to get this result that is x minus y is equal to 8 so let's uh, try something we keep x is equal to 12 and we'll keep value of y positive instead of keeping it negative as per question we'll take the positive value that is 4 so what result we are getting that is 12 minus 4 we are still getting 8 so that means this statement is also not correct because we are getting this result x minus y is equal to 8 by keeping the values which are at variance with the statement given so option 2 is also not correct the third option is x is negative and y must always be positive for all values of x and y to get x minus y is equal to 8 so again we'll try let's say x is x is equal to minus 1 and instead of keeping y positive we'll taking y as negative that is minus 9 so minus 1 minus minus 9 so this will be equal to minus 1 plus 9 result is still 8 so that means we are able to get this result even if this statement is not complied with so that means this statement is also wrong so our answer is option d that is neither 1 2 or 3 are correct so thank you thank you very much for watching